Good morning, it's Dr. James. It's wonderful to see you this morning. Thank you for your time and thank you for your energy. And today, I would love for you to just take a few minutes with me this morning and just allow yourself to be. Just allow yourself to be still, to allow yourself to settle in as I share with you a quick little story about something that happened to me many years ago that has helped me so much on my path that I feel, and I feel all of us have a relationship to what I'm going to share with you. It came about when I was in my early 20s and I was, um, I was on a search. I was on a search to actually help me more identify my authentic self, to stand in my truth. And I was, um, I was met with a lot of distraction. I was met with a lot of, uh, gosh, questioning and uh, a lack of confidence and oftentimes a lack of uh, gritty willpower. And on that path, I remember a day when I was living in that intentional community in upstate New York is a Sufi community. I was studying meditation. I was studying the dances of universal peace, uh, macrobiotics, veganism, just the power of community. And this was a huge, huge step for me to live in this experience. And um, one of the things that actually helped me to stay in this experience and really wanted me to pursue deeper truths around self-care and self-love and more of the spiritual practices of creating a life that you love was when I came across a poem um, written by Rumi. I became a huge fan of Rumi back in my early 20s, and um, that continues on today, 30 plus years later. There was a certain poem and a quote that he shared that I came across, and it literally helped me to change my life. The quote goes on something like this, out beyond right doing and wrong doing, there is a field, and I will meet you there. Beyond right doing and wrong doing, there is a field, I will meet you there. Now just take a moment and allow that to settle in. Do you ever find yourself feeling separate? You have this idea about your life and what you want your life to be looking like and how you want your soul to be peaceful and grace-filled and grateful. And then your mind gets busy and it gets caught up with uh, the chronic not-enoughness of, of time or energy or money or stuff or whatever we believe sometimes in our small limiting thinking that we don't have. Well, you know, I've been thinking a lot about this idea over the last few weeks as I've been watching the political climate in our country escalate to an all-time high level of divisiveness. And I'm not sure if it's an all-time high level. I know there was divisiveness in the 60s and the 50s. There's always been challenges here in the United States and across the world. There's been challenges politically and with different groups and socioeconomic and spiritual and religious. There's always been challenges. But today, I wanted you just to take a moment this morning and, and consider a word. The word is re reconciliation. And uh, reconciliation simply means to return, to reunite, to restore, and have a reunion. And I love this one. It's a, to make friendly again. So I, I think there's ways that you and I can take reconciliation in all kinds of wonderful directions today. You know, we can take it into the political sector and we can forgive people who don't really share our values. We can, uh, we can take it into the areas where we have past relationships that have been severed through to disagreements or hurt, and we can bring forgiveness in. We can, we can hold ourselves accountable in ways to really be a, a person who reconciles uh, differences with others. But I think more than anything today, when I read that quote 30 plus years ago, it, it helped me to heal a divide I had in my own self. A divide about what I felt uh, I needed to be better at, what I felt I was doing wrong with. And this whole idea of being in a space where we go beyond right doing and wrong doing and go to a place where we can settle in, where we can kind of lay in the grass and I'll allow ourselves to heal. I'd love this morning as we kind of say goodbye this morning, maybe take a few moments and just close your eyes and, and put your hands on your heart and allow yourself to just kind of breathe in that healing experience of reconciliation and allow yourself to heal that divide. Allow yourself to take that 12 inch journey from your mind and that busyness and that, uh, that part of us that says, I'm not enough, I don't have enough, I, I've messed up at this, I can't forgive myself for that. And then we just kind of breathe in as we're inhaling, we drop into our heart and we allow ourselves to experience reconciliation, to reunite, to restore, to reconcile and allow ourselves to make friendly again with ourselves. Because I have a wonderful feeling if we do this within, it actually starts to show up without. When we carry ourselves in that union, that reconciliation energy, I think it starts to heal what's going on all around us. We bring people back together. We bring ourselves back to the heart. Oneness is revealed. 
So with that, I wish you much love and many blessings, and I truly appreciate you. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace and love. Bye-bye.